Hey beauties, what is up? So I'm going to go ahead and do my nails. Uh, my hands are pink because of the hair dye that I did to dye my hair. And I have, oh, I have these fantasy ones from Kiss. Now, I've been actually doing my own nails for a while. I haven't actually done Kiss for a while, but I decided to go ahead and try these, buy these. And they're like a beautiful burgundy color. I kind of didn't want to do anything bright this time. I wanted to go dark, dark, dark. But, you know, unfortunately, my hair could dye is light pink. And I kind of wanted to go ahead and do like a vibrant pink to have like dark nails. But it's okay. So we're going to go ahead and try these out. So first thing I am going to do is that usually the Kiss nail products does come with, you know, a small little filer, a push cuticle nail. And it also comes with like the ones that you could glue on. You could just press on them. I like to do... A certain way I do push my cuticles but I don't really use this but if you don't have anything else then use this push your cuticle that's just to make sure that you know your nails look nice and they look kind of like salon style this is the reason why you should push your cuticles back a lot of people prep their cuticles before starting I like prepping my cuticles I do use hand sanitizer to prep my cuticles just because I don't have rubbing alcohol so this is how I end up prepping my nails Again, it's up to you how you like to prep your nails. Just keep in mind that you want to always disinfect with alcohol because, you know, since you are going to be wearing the nails for like about a week, you know, you don't want you, you don't want to get any fungus on your nails. So what I'm going to use with this is I am going to definitely clean out my nails because they are dirty and filthy. So I'm going to go ahead and clean them out. I'm going to go ahead and be using a spoolie to do it. You can use the curved side of this or not do it at all. It's up to you. Optional. Definitely, I go light on this because it is a metal rod. I just want to go ahead and push back my cuticles. Some people actually do trim your cuticles, which I think it's a good idea as well. It gives it like a better clean cut. I don't have the one that you trim it out, so I don't really do it. But if you do, go for it. Now that we've pushed all our cuticle backs, we're going to go ahead and just kind of like file our nail to get rid of any oil that's on it and give that glue a nice grip. Oh, but before I do this, I'm gonna prep my nails because I want the glue to be tacky, not slippery. I'm gonna go ahead and just select my nail size. I'm usually always the smallest one on my pinky and even then they kind of run a little bit big. So just keep that in mind. This one is a number 13. I'm going to apply my glue here because I don't want it to fall anywhere else. And I do use the glue that comes with the kit. So I just go ahead and apply about a nice, you know, a nice drop, kind of like a teardrop amount. And I do go less as I go on. Okay, so now I'm going to let that settle in and I'm going to go ahead and just buff my nails out. buff file my nails now that we have that going on let's go ahead and apply our nails at an angle i'm going to make sure that my nail is completely covered you don't want to put air bubbles in here because it's like a no-no hold and press one two three if you do get an air bubble the bad thing about this is that you can't really see if you do get one or not because if you have an air bubble, that means it's easier for them to break off. So you want to make sure that you don't get an air bubble. See, I did get some of the glue coming out, which is okay. I can just easily clean that out. Alright, now so we're going to go ahead and repeat that the rest. Now you want to make sure that you are pressed firmly because you want to avoid as much air bubble as possible. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, because you can't really see through this color, you can't really tell if you're having air bubbles in your nails. Now just, I always apply from bottom to top, make sure that the glue goes all the way down and then I press from the bottom to the top to make sure that one, I don't have any air bubbles and two, my nails are perfectly glued on. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to end up filing the little, the tip from my nails because it has a little plastic thing on and I don't like it. Now keep in mind that you could always file the nails to make sure that they fit your actual nails. These did end up running a little bit big. But they still came out really cute. I love the fact that they're a dark color. They're a lot smaller than I've currently been trying them on. 
This one did retail for about $10. I bought it at CVS. But other than that, it came out really, really nice. I was having a little chit-chat with my little sister, so talking with my fingernails. Look at this beautiful shine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Oh, 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 oh,